Just an update. Uh, it's cold. We got about eight inches of snow. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe six, seven inches. The worst part of it is I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow to go over the results. And they closed early today for the weather. So I'm hoping they're going to be open tomorrow because it's been a week since I've had an update. What do you think, Ruby? What do you think? Are you excited? You are. Yeah. At least the dog likes this. I told the wife that went better than expected. Um, I guess one thing I didn't expect is tomorrow's appointment is with the kidney doc. I assumed it would be treatment plans and everything, but this is just to get a referral to the cancer docs. So, that, so I've been waiting a week and just worst case scenario, scenarioing, <laughs> however you pronounce that. Just going dark on this, but that's normal. So. so tomorrow we get to get up early drive 30 miles in snow to go see a doc that I'm not sure what he's gonna do. Something I learned in the Navy was hurry up and wait. Why should this be any different? All right, so just got done with the doc. And basically what I was told is it's a greater than 50% chance that this is cancer. What that means, um, he did acknowledge that the lymph nodes were enlarged, but that is typical of most people. So at this point, the treatment plan is to go in and have a PET scan to check the lymph nodes and then a biopsy to confirm the diagnosis. But the way he explained it, that on a CT scan, if it's not cancer, it is kind of foggy and light colored. But if it's cancer, it is a dark, um, dark mass. And it's pretty much a dark mass. So at this point, the treatment plan is a PEC scan next week, then a um, biopsy. After the biopsy, I'll be going to Omaha for robotic surgery and having the kidney removed. Um, he says with the size of the mass that just expect to have the kidney removed. Once it's removed, it'll be CT scans every three months for a year just to verify that it's gone and not coming back. There is no chemo or radiation. This type of mass does not re typically respond to it is what I was told. So there's no sense wasting time on it. It's gonna happen quickly, but again, the kidney's coming out and it shouldn't affect the job. It shouldn't affect the more Overland and Expo show, so. We'll still be there and stop by and see us. Well, we made it here to the hospital. Yeah, I'm gonna get the PET scan done. This is where they find out if it's isolated to the kidney or if it's spread throughout the body. So kind of an important test today. I think we find out the results in a week. Let's get this going. Let's get out of the cold. Well, now let's hurry up and wait. We're checked in. Uh, see what happens next.
We're waiting for the radioactive injection. Looks like I might become a superhero after all. A couple hours later, that's done. Results in a couple days. So, well, I guess, wish me luck. <laughs> Howdy. Well, as I'm editing the video, I got the results from the PET scan actually that same day. And yeah now I'm really worried I did talk to the doc there was a typo in it um, it was talking about the mass on my right kidney but then started referencing a mass on my left kidney and then went back to the right kidney um, that was a typo but it got my anxiety up and there was a few more things but but we'll get into that in the next video thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Thanks for your prayers. Keep praying.